it's Ellie from Russia and in this episode I found myself with Africa's nomadic tribe Maasai. They keep living in a traditional way of life, migrating from place to place and building small huts, regardless of the predators living nearby. They say that there are even cases when some of the Maasai people are eaten by lions. But Maasai hide this fact so that the government allows them to keep living this way. Sounds scary, especially because on my way to their village I'm going to live in an open savanna in an ordinary tent. <sighs> anyway, let's start this African trip. Just a moment before we start this trip, let me introduce you to a company that sponsors this video, Lingopi. You rarely see integrated ads on my channel because I can't recommend something that I'm not familiar with or don't trust, but let me tell you about this platform which I use myself and highly enjoy. Lingopi is a platform that teaches languages through foreign television shows and movies. It offers international content in eight languages, for example, I study Italian here, and it's really cool and useful to use. Here is why. They have a huge library of movies and TV shows, you can watch what you like on the computer or on mobile app, you can choose speed for the videos if you need to slow it down sometimes, and there is also a feature of dual subtitles. Every show includes two sets of subtitles, one in your native language and one in the target language. You can click the words that you don't know and obtain their instant translation. Then these words become flashcards, which you can review later, play mini games or quizzes. And if you would also like to learn a language as entertaining as possible, I'm happy to share with you a link which will give you 7-day free trial with 55% off for subscription. And now, back to the trip. You know you're in Africa when snacks for the roads is baobab seeds. Look at this one. There is a big seed inside. I can only just chew it and throw it. That's it. Throw it. Like. <laughs> what did you see there? Zebras. Zebras. Just zebras passing the road. <laughs> The Serengeti National Park in Tanzania is home to the greatest annual animal migration in the world of over 1.5 million blue wild beasts and 250,000 zebra, along with smaller herds of Thompson gazelle and eland. The national park is also home to the largest lion population in Africa. The word Serengeti comes from Maasai tribe's word Serengit meaning the land of endless plains. I hope that here we will be able to see the so-called Big Five. The Big Five animals are the lion, leopard, black rhinoceros, elephant and buffalo. We've just seen nine lions. So hard to see them because they are of the same color as grass and everything. <laughs> Lying. They're so calm, not afraid of yeah, the car at all. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's because, uh, like have, uh, 10 meters from us. Yeah. Uh, I think 20. That's why they come just like a whole day now. Mm -hmm. We use a с нами на туре есть девушка, девочка, которая скоро распугает всех животных в саванне. Правда.
Now you start from the ground. From the ground. From the ground. From the ground. Yeah. From the ground. Click. 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 Click Serengeti Park. It's a really huge camping with huge tents of our height. And tomorrow we have the second day of safari. Did you like today? I enjoy it really because uh, this is my first time seeing animals in the wild nature and I actually a big nature lover. We're gonna sleep so well and tomorrow wake up at 5. Yeah. Dasha is checking if we don't have any snakes here. Yeah. And we were also told to take our shoes inside because a lion or hyena can take it at night. Night in a tent in Savannah, done. We weren't eaten by lions, <laughs> but we saw that zebras came here. Nearby our tents, yeah, it's close and actually at night I've heard some noises of uh, of I don't know which animals, they were like uh, wandering around and I think it's hyenas maybe. I think you it's hyenas. Yeah. yeah, I woke up, I woke up at the night and I've heard it and it actually it was scary a bit. <laughs> but then somebody went out from the tent and uh, this animal mm, ran away. Yes, and also there was a really strange and loud bird screaming. <laughs> it was so funny, it was hard to fall asleep, but then it was silent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are alive. By the way, if someone ever says it's hot like in Africa, I'm gonna disagree a lot. It's so cold! <laughs> it's just, uh, we are wearing so many layers. <laughs> just invite this person to watch Alina's vlog about Africa. It's not, it's not hot here, not any time. Good morning! I don't want to go out, you know? <laughs> morning! Good morning! How are you? Cold! I know! Yeah. I'm cold! <laughs> yeah. The Ngorongoro crater is the world's largest unflooded and unbroken volcanic caldera. It's one of Africa's most famous sites and it's said to have the highest density of wildlife on the continent. This place was also named by the Maasai pastoralists after the sound produced by the cowbell. Ngorongoro We'll be helping our chef Peter to prepare dinner for our team. What's in the menu today? Today, today is potato and uh, chicken, sausage, and ah, uh, yeah. What it's for? Popcorn. Oh. Yeah. Q 
Cucumber soup. Cucumber soup. What is it? Flour. Yeah. With water? Yeah. Uh, how many minutes it will stay? How, ah. how many minutes to cook? The soup? Um, five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Mm. Okay. vegetarian food. This is something really great. Especially when you are cold and this makes you so warm. So, Super is, chef! This is potato oil, avocado salad, and chicken sauce. Asante sana. Asante. Well, what can I say? I loved the safari, camping, and the cooking part. I love animals, so it was very cool to see them in their natural habitat. But at the same time, I thought at the safari you feel very wild and connecting with the nature, but I didn't feel it. I felt that on Kilimanjaro when you're moving, walking in the nature, conquering, but here you're in a car the whole day and I felt like in a zoo, but in a zoo the animals are behind the bars and here you are in the car and you can't go out, you can't connect anyhow. So I have mixed feelings, like I didn't feel this wilderness. I don't like to be sitting in a car and being get from one point to another and you can decide where you want to go out, what to do. I think I like something much more less touristic, less planned and more pristine, wild and maybe challenging, not just sitting in a car the whole day. One of the reasons for creation of the Ngorongoro conservation area has been to preserve the environment for the Maasai people, who were diverted from the Serengeti plains. Even though Maasai are no longer allowed to build villages inside the crater, they continue to herd their cattle there, regardless of the predators. Today we came to Maasai village. Yeah, you're welcome to see the Maasai village. My name is Molen. I'll be your guide to show you yeah, several programs. Okay. They show you a welcome song. Oh. And uh, did you see the jumping song? No, no, and, uh, never. Never? Never. And then you can visit inside the houses. Good. Okay.
The Maasai tribe are an indigenous ethnic group of semi-nomadic people settled in Kenya and northern Tanzania. However, nowadays Kenyan and Tanzanian governments have made it difficult for Maasai to keep their traditional way of life, as they force them out of their lands in order to create more national parks and reserves. The governments encourage the Maasai to make permanent agricultural settlements and to give up the practice of isolating their children and young men in favor of formal education and adaptation of a more modern lifestyle. But the Maasai try to do everything to keep the rights for the lands to herd their cattle and to keep migrating. <laughs> <laughs> Going inside of the Maasai house. So you walk. This is the home. They live here, sleeping and cooking and eating inside. Uh -huh. The bed they use uh, cow skin. Skin of cow. Uh -huh. So they do have a two beds. This is where the children, that are one for the parents, and the little kitchen here. I see. No lights in the evening? Um, they do have a fire. Fire? fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here? In here. The, uh, yeah, in here. This is the kitchen. And you also have a candle. Uh-huh. You know candle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wi-Fi? Yeah? <laughs> kidding, kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> and a window? Yes. Yeah. Is a little window for so smoking go through and get a light to come inside. How long it takes yeah. to build this house? To build this is two weeks. Just two weeks? Yeah, and this is not a permanent, this is a temporary. Mm. The Maasai they're moving around to follow the grass and follow the water and build a small hut. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many people do live here? Um, in the house? Yeah, in this. Yeah, it's like a five or six. Yeah. We were told that in one of these villages there is a man who has about 34 wives and 100 children and the whole village is only his family and a school is only for his children. It's like, what's wrong with this man? Like. How come he has so much time and how does he feed all his wives and children? Or he just makes children, that's it. <laughs> I don't know. Что, даже к тебе подкатывают, номерок просят, да? Я говорю, что номера, а я боюсь. Что он говорит? Он говорит, что они хотят вас мерить. А, конечно. Потому что они говорят, что они хотят вас Даша, there is nice apartment. Yeah. You can stay. They can stay here. There is a candle. This is your husband. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I will think about that. I will think about that. Yeah. Go Get it there. Show her which. Which apartment do you have? Nanda. Which one? Aha. Dasha, think about it. What? I will think. Just give me time. Time for that. I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. Our world and society constantly change and develop. It's an inevitable process. But should a developed society necessarily mean high skyscrapers and modern apartments with all conveniences, capitalism, feminism and other so-called progressive things? For Maasai people, happiness means to be able to lead a nomadic life.
to wear their traditional colorful shuka, cowhide sandals, and with a wooden stick in their hand, be at ease with themselves and the world. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. You can support my channel by hitting the like button for this video and leaving a comment below. Thank you.